All right. Um, so, uh, as I said before, my job now is to continuously being the mirror for these bottom feeders that they don't want to have. I will continuously put my testimony out there. And by the end of this, they will fully understand what they are. The delusion they've tried to create will fade away. And for everybody who participated in this, will understand that the person they were targeting did not let them live their fantasy. But also, I left testimonials for those people who are falling to this narrative that they created. Um, me, um, I know my purpose are just sad bottom feeders to even try to believe that this is what they do makes sense, right? They keep like saying, oh, we're sad. So like, are you happy? Okay. I hope that you continue to stay happy this way because it's sad, it's pathetic. Now, you might feel happy, but what you're doing is pathetic. So sad. They were trying to block and counter reality at any point. Like, they can create any narrations and create a storyline and then make noise campaign and try to make you feel nervous about the storyline that they put together the way they wanted to put together and then go in and just try to, like, make you accept this now horrible things are going to happen to me because i continuously bring up reality that they want to push away they want me to see the, the, these things to me uh, the way i look at myself they want me to look at the, the way they they put the things together you know they try to disorient you into accepting these nonsensical things just two seconds ago i heard this childlike individual and she say using her voice i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna mimic her we had sex. Now, I heard somebody, you know, they've been saying that they're going to frame me. Now, this childlike individual sound like she's saying that me and her had sex. If this is a frame of some sort, I don't know. But I understand if they do this thing, they, these people have no self-respect. And I know what these people are. What she's trying to block out is certain things that she's involved in. These people have done horrible things to women. They've been trying to make me think, okay, we know, remember this woman, what you've done to... But you, who do all these things to women, I will never let them speak for her. Because I know what you guys do to women. Even if you're women or of female gender, I would say. Because I know what they do. And they wanted to play this evangelist. This reality they've put together. This is what they do. I'm going to play a sample of what she's, this woman went through, which I know is true because I know some of the things they do is similar to what they've done to me in regard of like the way they just kind of psychologically play with you. You heard this testimony before. Her name is Katrina. Right? Airline, you know, flight, because all I wanted to do was leave Chicago. And um, so I figured I'd make my plans in a hotel. I didn't think that they could hack the hotel. I was very naive back then. I didn't understand the full technology spectrum or even um, interest, you know, and all I wanted to do was leave. So um, I was at a hotel on a relatively high floor and they had, um, all of a sudden, I, I had been there like four or five days. And the night before I was attacked really bad, um, I noticed a maintenance man about 10 or 11 o'clock at night messing with all of the lights up and down the hallway. And as, um, I'm sorry, I get kind of upset when I think about this because it's really messed up. Um, and my spidey sense went off and I was really kind of nervous about like what the hell he was doing out there. Cause it, 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 he was kind of a sinister, he was real creepy kind of person. So, um, so the next night, I believe it was a Friday night. I went to bed. I had all of the doors, all the locks on the door, even the, um, the, the one that kind of like goes over that you can't open from the outside. I had everything locked up, figured I was safe. Um, I went to bed maybe about one o'clock in the morning. I woke up about four thirty, five o'clock in the morning, uh, bleeding. 
out of every hole, uh, sick. Someone was in my room um, or had been in my room. Uh, food was missing. My dogs were traumatized. Um, I had been obviously sexually assaulted uh, in all the worst ways possible. I got up, first thing I did was vomit. And all I wanted to do was just, I was just in shock. Um, There was a do not disturb sign on my door. And I didn't do this. And there was um, lotion all over my bathroom floor. Um, All I wanted to do was just get on a plane and get the hell away from everybody. And I was, um, you know, very, very sick and in a lot of pain. Um, I had already been denied a rape kit when I owned my house um, and woke up and um, my hair had obviously been pulled out and there were earplugs in my She goes on and, and talks about how, you know, there's a time when this happened and she tried to get a, uh, she, she went to the hospital and the doctor, who was a woman, uh, refused to give her a rape kit and actually uh, was uh, uh, treating her like a third grade citizen um and she goes on and say you know she's surprised of how young the people involved in this program are and in you know maybe in the next um in the next uh, uh you know I, I can bring that up and i'm going to talk about these avengers but she goes on and she said, these people, I was surprised of how young this is. She was like young, like, you know, like 23, 19, like, and I'm looking at these people that are doing this to me, right? And I'm like, hey, they're, they're not, like, the, they're quite young, you know, from all age range, but really young. And you understand the similarities are crazy. Now, to counter that, they have to counter reality. It's time to create a fantasy of theirs. Now I've mentioned I'm not perfect. I've been, you know, I'm 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 not a perfect man. But what they're trying to do is create storylines or creations where they create this leaden like persona. They're trying to make me think of a woman that I've been with who's about the same age as me when I'm in my mid twenties, and try to make me imagine her as an underage. They're trying to make me think of moments where <laughs> I don't mean to be graphic, but I was with somebody, somebody else in, in a, and somebody else was in the room and then tried to make me create this story and this, that like completely just storytelling ways of creating narrations. This is things they have to come up with and put together in this nonsensical ways. Anyways, and mind you, my mind is for them to manipulate. They can create any thoughts. If there's no, ways to confirm anything they're gonna try to make me imagine but what if what if to try to block our reality they've put together stories that they just create like an author writing a book the way they want it with all kind of fictional stories to block out this these things that they do to women I know what they're supposed to do. There is the job to do these horrible things to people, including women, just like her. These are the people calling you a nothing. These are the somethings. But this is the things they do as somethings that they are. And you hear this childlike person say, we had sex. I don't know if that's because she's going to frame and say that that's what we had. I'm like, go ahead. See you had, had something I do like you. What, what happens to, to them? You are part of this. Add to your to 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 the good energy that's coming gonna come back to you. They, they are pathetic trash. I know why I'm here. Like I know these people are just the trash that that does these things with no self respect. They f- they find empowerment in this foulness. They wanted to escape this reality where they're in a group where they avenge and they're like, oh, it's not fair. No, it's fair because I can get to see you for what you are. Your fantasies, your way you try to paint yourself cannot work. That's why it's super fair. Because I see you for what you are. It made sense that these people, well, these ways of thinking and logical it, it, and, and manipulative ways, is like, of course. But to find out they do this to women is like, ah, it makes sense. This is the kind of people who would do that to anybody. So to all my target individuals, as they try to disturb me, stay strong.
they will try to disorient you with everything they can. But remember what these people do. Remember how disgusting these people are. Remember what they're capable of doing to even the most vulnerable, even including children. You heard the testimony of what they do to kids, torturing them sexually. Me, they were trying to bring up, remember what you did was a kid. I'm like, a child can do something stupid and you have to exaggerate. Well, I hear you. There's testimony of women that you, you torture and the children that you torture, including sexual torture, including gasping for air because they're suffocating the kids. And they're like, oh, it's not fair. Yes, it's fair because now I'm seeing you properly for what you are. And they're like, oh, you're going to be blind. Yes, you're blind and nine you're old. I have testimony of that. Way before me, they, they describe the same thing that I'm experiencing, a flash, and then... So you understand, this is why it's fair. It's not fair for them because they wanted to create a fantasy of theirs. They even tried to say, oh, we just released this woman that she talks about being raped. Fictional, leave the story. The women, the children, all these people they've done this to. This one woman, one day they were saying, she's dead. Oh no, we released her. They are disgusting and they are low lives. So to, to all my target individuals, stay strong and never subscribe to them.